It's the Wadi Club and welcome to today's Phuket Extra. A British man has had his travel plans delayed after stealing a cash-filled envelope left on an Air Asia check-in counter. 49-year-old Darren Chapman was arrested after a Tunisian tourist reported the money missing. Mr Isam told police that he'd gone to the Air Asia counter to ask where he could exchange the money. However, he left the envelope on the counter when he walked away. CCTV footage found Mr Chapman picked up the cash on the counter soon after. A Scottish man was killed and a Mahut seriously injured when an elephant went berserk during a trekking tour on Koh Samui. The 36-year-old tourist was riding the male elephant with his 16-year-old daughter in a forested area when Pan Mang, a Burmese Mahut, climbed down from 13-year-old golf to take photos. Golf struck Pamang with his trunk and stabbed him in the torso with a tusk. The pachyderm then threw the tourist off his back. He stomped the Scottish man and stabbed him in the chest with a tusk, killing him instantly. The elephant then ran into the forest. The Thai government might have found a solution to get social apps Facebook and Line to toe the line. JP Mustanza reports. The military, government and state agencies are working on a carrot and stick plan to oblige global social media companies to quickly remove content deemed offensive and illegal under Thai law from their platforms. The plan is to help and accelerate Facebook, Line and Google's investment in Thailand with tax incentives and exemptions in exchange for complying with the military government's online media policy. Section 15 of the Computer Crimes Act requires internet platforms to share responsibility with the person who posts offensive material against the government or monarchy on the internet. When asked about the messaging service Line, which has 33 million users in Thailand, Police Major General Pisit Pawin said in a radio interview that communication between two people and more is considered in the public domain. Representatives from Line Thailand responded by saying, the privacy of Line users is our top priority. Junta officials hope to meet with execs from Facebook, Line and Google within the next few months. JP Mistanza reporting for Phuket Extra. And we'll be back with more Phuket Extra next. Get ready for a fantastic, fun-filled day out at the biggest water park in Phuket. All happening at Splash Jungle, just north of the airport. More info on splashjunglewaterpark.com. Now, welcome back to Phuket Extra. The damaged road and the hurried repairs at the Sam Kong intersection underpass won't have any effect on the completion dates, according to the Phuket Highways Office. Last Thursday night's heavy rain caused a collapse of 50 metres of the right southbound lane going past Tesco Lotus. But urgent works on the weekend have done a temporary repair so the road can reopen. Thai weather officials say that despite temperatures warming up over the weekend, there's more cold weather on the way. A large high pressure system over China will push temperatures down up to four degrees, especially in the country's north. Some high winds are also expected in the Gulf of Thailand. Locally, last night, areas around Chelong and Rawai had an unseasonal drenching. Phuket's weird and wacky January weather continues. Finally, if you think the approach to Phuket Airport is a low approach, that's nothing compared to Saint Martin, beach on the Caribbean. Plane spotters flock to the beach to get up close and personal with arriving and departing planes. Well, that's all we have for today's Phuket Extra. Thanks for watching, and if you want to keep up to date with the latest news around the island, follow our Facebook page, The Phuket News, or go to thephuketnews.com. We'll see you tomorrow.